Hello and welcome to another Simplified Astro video and I uh, think for most of you that have seen some of my other videos you'll be well aware that I'm actually quite a fan of the Prima Lucci Lab equipment. Um, I've got the Eagle 2 and the tube rings and uh, I recently also bought the Sesto Senso autofocus motor for my ATTAC 106. Um, I've done a review on that, I rate it, it's very good, works perfectly, very accurate, no issues at all, my, mine fitted fine, all, all runs fine. Um, and as a part of the Sesto Senso, there's actually a, a temperature output, a temperature sensor port that you can plug in the temperature sensor, which is available from Prima Lucci Lab. Now, as I run SGP and I run automated sequences, as a part of that sequence, I use temperature compensation and I refocus, uh, especially on the tank which are prone to it, I have to refocus every one degree of temperature change. Um, that's not an issue and historically I've actually done it via an external temperature sensor. But I wanted to encompass it all into one system. So I thought, great opportunity now with the, the Sesto Senso, uh, I'll get the sensor. So I ordered it from them online, direct from them, delivered in a couple of days, very good service. Uh, you know, and as has been the case from the kickoff with uh, Prima Lucci Labs, no issues with service whatsoever. So when the, the sensor come, I was quite excited to try it out, see how it went, plugged it in and nothing. Um, literally just not registering the temperature sensor at all. And I was a little bit surprised, so I thought, well, I'll check on Prima Lucci Labs website just to make sure that I'm running the latest firmware. And on the website, this is the latest version firmware, version 2.0, February 2018. Uh, this is the only firmware that's available for download on the site. So I checked on my Sesto Senso, I connect to it, and sure enough, there I am running version 2.0. So I've got the latest firmware, no issues. But as you can see here, and as is the case when I log on to Secrets Generator Pro, there's no temperature reading at all. It's just not applicable. It's not seeing it. So I spent probably an hour or so just checking settings and making sure that everything was plugged in right. And I, I really just come up against a brick wall. I had no idea thinking it must be something I'm doing wrong. So um, eventually I, I resorted to just dropping a line to the support at uh, Prima Lucci Lab and Omar very good responded very quickly um, with an email with an attachment of version 2.1 firmware telling me ah no to use the temperature sensor you have to have version 2.1 firmware um, it's great you know the service was great getting that back quite quickly but it's a little bit disappointing the fact that um, you know when you order the temperature sensor for the Sesto Senso they could quite easily just package that with version 2.1 or even a note inside the, the package saying that this will not run on version 2.0. It needs version 2.1. Uh, and perhaps, you know, uh, or put the latest version on the website so that it can be downloaded. I mean, it was, I just wasn't very happy with the whole thing. I'd wasted an hour trying to find something that I was convinced was my fault. And it actually wasn't my fault. Um, so... That's the, the background of this story here. The fact is, I do now need to upgrade to version 2.1. Um, I have tried it out, it does work. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is a little bit tricky the way that you have to do it, a little bit different the way that you have to do it. So I thought what I'd do is, as well as explaining the problem that, you know, if you are gonna use the temperature sensor on the, um, the Sesto Senso, then you will need to get version 2.1 firmware. Uh, so I'll go on now and I'll show you how to upload that firmware uh, and test it. And then you'll see the area here where it shows the temperature sensor not working, that that then fires up and the temperature sensor works. So we'll have a little go and we'll upload the software now. OK, so welcome back. Right, now we're going to have a little go at uploading and installing the new uh, firmware. As I say, there is a specific way of doing it with unplugging the, the power port and the USB port in a specific order. It does tell you how to do that, um, but we'll run through it anyway. And you'll see, take note there, we've got version 2.0 firmware. Now to upload the firmware, you actually have to close out of the application. So you're 
disconnected from your Sesto Senso. But it does need to be powered on and it does need to be connected to the USB port. So what you do then is you get your version 2.1. Uh, it comes as a zip file, so you unzip it and save it to, uh, I save mine in my documents folder. So I've got version 2.1 here. Now, in the firmware folder, you've got an application. It comes with a Senso, Sesto Senso firmware upgrade application. You need to open this application to start the firmware update process. So connect the uh, COM port that your Sesto Senso is connected to. Select the firmware. So we're going to go for version 2.1. So we'll go in here, uh, the firmware version 2.1. And then we're going to upload the firmware. Now this point, it says at the bottom here, disconnect the power first and then the USB cable. So we'll go ahead and we'll disconnect the power and we'll disconnect the USB. You'll see now, that's ready to now re-establish. So we now need to connect the power first, and then the USB. And you'll see it automatically starts the upload process. Now this doesn't take long, only takes a minute or so. And once this is done, you then need to reboot the, uh, the focus controller. So there we are, upload successful, unplug power and USB. So we'll say OK. We'll just unplug. Unplug both. We do it in the same order again. So we're going to plug back in the power first. And then we're going to plug the USB. And now what we'll do is we'll connect to the Sesto Senso itself, to the actual unit. Open, and there you are. You see version 2.1, and you'll also see now, there's my temperature reading. So it's fairly straightforward, but it's a little bit different. You have to do it in that specific order. If you don't do it in that order, um, it won't work. Um, and it, you won't be able to download the firmware from um, Prima Luci Labs website. Um, one thing to remember is that once you upload the firmware, you have to recalibrate the uh, the motor. It, it won't keep the same calibration, so you have to set the whole thing back up again. It starts again at defaults. Uh, that's not an issue because obviously you're not going to have too many firmware upgrades. Uh, but um, you can, if you've saved parameters like me, you can then um, re-upload your parameters again, so that's fine. Uh, hopefully this this has been helpful and it, it saves you an hour of grief that I had trying to find out what I did wrong. And um, I'll be back soon and do another video. See you soon. Bye.